Hi, I'm Todd Baginski. Thanks for watching my video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create featured and hero power apps. When I started thinking about hero and power apps, I started thinking about something else I really like as well, the game Guitar Hero. In Guitar Hero, you don't play power apps, you play power chords. So let's start off with a few power chords today, just for the heck of it. Okay, so like I said, we're not really here to learn how to play power chords or learn any Yes songs, but it's fun doing it anyway. So let's jump into the video now and learn how to make a featured power app as well as a hero power app and how you can use these techniques to distribute power apps and make them available easier for people to discover inside of your organization. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at here is what is a featured power app and what is a hero power app? I think the best way to show you is to just show you inside of the actual Power Apps client application itself. Here you can see it running on my Android phone. So I've opened up the Power Apps application and I can see my all apps list. This shows me the list of the Power Apps and the most recent Power App I opened is at the top of my list. You notice there's nothing that says featured Power App or hero Power App in this list. If I move over to actually select the Featured Apps section right here. You can see I don't have any featured apps yet. So the reason that you'd want to add a featured app here is so that you can make your apps more discoverable to other people in your organization. So how do we add a featured app? Well, let's jump into that now. The way that you add a feature or hero power app to the list of power apps inside of your org is via PowerShell. And so to install PowerShell support for Power Apps, you're going to want to follow this article right here from Microsoft. It shows you how to download the Power App script file and then install the different commands on your machine. Once you do that, then you can interact with them inside of the command shell and create a featured Power App. So the first thing I'm going to do here is actually I am going to take a power app that I have right here called Book a Room. And this Book a Room power app, if I look at the detail page for it, I can find its app ID, the GUID, right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take and I'm going to make this Book a Room a featured power app so that it shows up inside of our featured power apps list right here inside of my phone. So to do this, this is pretty simple command to execute actually. The command that you use to create a featured power app looks like this. It's set dash admin power app as featured. And then you pass in the switch for the app name parameter and there you pass in the GUID. Here you can see the GUID that I have in the top right is the same as the one in book room on the bottom left. So I'll just execute that command and hit enter here. And after my command executes, it'll be available inside of the Power App. So the command is now running. It doesn't take too long to run. You can see it was OK. And now if we come back to my phone and we refresh the list of featured Power Apps, now I have that featured Power App right there inside of the list. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside of my All Apps list. You can see it's not there. So if I want to add that particular Power App as a, a Hero Power App, so it's always sticky in these menus, I have a different command to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it and how you can actually add more than one featured app to this list. So I have another Power App here and this one is the Estimator Pro mobile version and we can see its GUID down here starts with 8822. So if I come in here and I actually execute this same command now but I put in the GUID for the new Power App and run it, as you can probably guess when we return to my phone and we refresh the list of featured Power Apps, now we see two in the list. 
Now you can also remove featured power apps for the list. So let's say I want to remove the Estimator Pro. I'm going to use this PowerShell command here, clear admin power apps as featured. Again, pass in the app name switch and the GUID. So this is the GUID for the Book of Room power app. And I execute that command. And now we will see that power app disappear from the list when I click on the refresh button on my phone. So give that button a click and then now we're back to where we started. So let's add them both to the list one more time. So we've both got them in there. And then I'm going to make one of them a hero power app. So here we have two featured apps you can see. Returning to the all apps page, they're not at the top of the list. But after you add an app as a featured power app, then you can make it the hero power app. It's impossible to make it the hero power app unless you've already made it a featured one. So I'm going to come in here now and I'm going to execute this command, set admin power apps as hero. Again, same switch. And notice here I'm passing in the GUID for the Estimator Pro power app. So I'll execute that command right there. And after that command is complete, when I refresh my all apps list right here, now you can see that I've got that Estimator Pro as the hero app. It always stays in the top of my list. And you can kind of see a little clue that it's different than the rest is the background behind it. You can see right here is white. And then the list of everything else starts as gray down there. Now if I move over to my featured apps and I refresh the list over here, here you can see that not only is the app featured, but it's also the hero. So that's something to keep in mind on this screen, and it's by design that the Hero app is always at the top, whether it is a featured app or not. Now, if you want to remove the app from your Hero Power app and replace it with a different one, because you can only have one at a time, what you can do is run this command, clear admin apps as Hero, same switch, same parameters that you pass into it, and after you run that command, when you come back to your Power App, you'll notice that that Power App is still in my featured list, but it's not in the Hero list anymore, and it doesn't appear inside of my Power App list as the Hero Power App. You can use these techniques to draw visibility and drive use of your Power Apps in your organization, and also cycle what is the Hero Power App, depending on the time of year and what's going on in your org, and if you need to use that Power App often or not. I hope this comes in helpful for you. Thanks for watching the video, and go out and be a Power Apps hero now. Have a good one.